Holy shit guys, with the news of the Death Star DLC just dropping, I saw the teaser trailer and I want to talk about it. Plus, I want to talk about today, the recent update that I have been waiting for for Star Wars Battlefront. And that is, they added in a new star card, a couple new star cards and bounties, but they added in a classic mode from the original Battlefront, Instant Ash Action, or aka, it's called Skirmish. This was the update today, and now you can play the modes, at least the core modes, offline on the original set maps. I'm sure they're going to update the game where you can play all the game modes, um, but for right now you can play Walker Assault Fighter Squadron on the original game's core maps and the free downloadable maps. I'm sure, that, but like I said, I'm sure they're going to do that for the DLC maps. They're going to be coming in the Death Star. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do it for the best spin. They've already done it for Jack Who. They're going to do it. I hope they do it for um, the Outer Rim Pack. But anyway, instant action or skirmish, it just makes you feel like the original Battlefront. If your internet connection is not working properly or if you're just sick of, you you know, you run into BS players online, you could play instant action now. And it actually feels like the original way that you, we used to play instant action. But um, you can actually play co-op with a friend. Or you can verse each other, kind of like how you can do the missions in survival mode. But this one has more substance to it because it just feels like the original modes. You can get the hero power-ups, get all your power-ups, use all your guns. But you can only use preset classes that give you uh, like star cards and shit. But it, it's fine because the AI has normal, hard, and master. I haven't played them on the other two modes, but you can still... Get, it, it still kind of feels like you're playing players unless you're playing as a hero then you know you're playing against AI because when you play as a hero you'll decimate everyone this gives people a chance to practice the game mode walker assault and fighter squadron and you can just go against your friend or you guys could co-op together I understand there's no story mode for this game which I mean it's a bummer that it didn't have a story mode but hell instant action with all its game modes plus if you add in all its other game modes we really want to um I really want to reenact the trailer scene with one of my friends. Uh, reenact the Luke versus Vader on Hoth, which now we can do that with a private game where we can play together, verse each other, and overall you get full. The, the map is still open. The, there's no restrictions uh, to the map because it's an offline single player mode. Granted, you don't get XP, you don't get none of that. This mode is just to go back offline and have fun. And play the way we played back in the day. Uh, Co-op, PvP, so on and so forth from Battlefront 1 and 2. So, I'm just really glad they added in this game mode. I've been playing it, you know, getting my break off the online mode. Just going around feeling good. Kind of, it, it, it's strange that it feels... Because when you're playing with players, you know how players play. When you're playing this, especially Fighter Squadron mode, you actually clash with the ships in mid-air... Because in multiplayer mode on Fire Squad, everybody just splits off their own way. When you're when you're going alongside the AI, it actually feels like they're in a squadron. The enemy will attack you in a squadron. They actually fight. The fucking AI actually fights like the damn, uh, the way that they did in the movies. Unlike players, where players just go off and be John fucking Rambo. But anyway, um, that's what all I gotta talk about with the skirmish mode and the new star cards. We have a stinger gun. Uh, I think we have a another grenade type. And another charge cards. We have a couple charge cards. I'm not going to focus on those because those are just stuff I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to get and know how to do. But anyway, now I'm going to talk about the Death Star DLC. When I saw that preview, I know Chewbacca is going to be available. And I forgot the other name of the... I know the... Uh, I forgot the other bounty hunter who's going to be playable in this god freaking expansion. Um, but the Death Star DLC, the stuff they've been teasing about it, it's going to be more space battle related. Which is good, because then it gives the fans of Battlefront 2 what they wanted. More space battles, uh, and there's going to be interior Death Star battles, which that means you'll get the both, best of both. You'll get outside and inside, but they're teasing at a mode that that, that simulates um, Episodes 4 Trench Run. Or Episode 6's uh, Go to the Core of the Death Star and Blow It. So, if they reenact those modes, like if you have game modes that reenact battles from the film, like objective-wise and to a T... It'd be great, like, 
they also said we might get the asteroid field from episode 5 that had that worm thing inside. So that means you guys will get the episode 5 dose because I really do like the Bespin pack. But I got more excited for the Death Star DLC because I hope they add in the Easter eggs or the hints of Battlefront 2's Death Star. Where you can throw someone in the trash compactor or you can see the Death Star laser firing up. Now... Will they bring back capital ship battles, where you can go from ship to ship to destroy the enemy's internal systems like Battlefront 2? That would be the mode that would throw everybody back. Like, everybody would be like, oh yes, Battlefront 2 reference, you know. I mean, I know the next Battlefront game, a Battlefront, the official Battlefront 2 from EA, uh, next year, it's going to be based on the new films. So, at least this game is focusing on original trilogy stuff, which I'm happy about. But, um... The Death Star DLC, how I think, how I want it to work, is I just want it to be capital ship based and interior based from the Death Star. Because if you guys don't remember Battlefront 2, and if you do, here's a reminder. Battlefront 2, there was two capital ships in the air, plus two support ships for each team. You take out the support ships, obviously you take out the enemy's fleet. You could go into the enemy's internal ship, blow the shields, blow the guns, or blow the core itself. Because once you get down, once, the, once you get the enemy's shields down, you can assault the ship. But, you can land inside the enemy ship, get into gun battles with other players, get into gun battles with other AIs, and I think this mode, I think if they do that mode, if they bring back capital ship battles, um, ship to ship, you need to have a cross between players and you need to have AI. Because that means the AI can, can help you defend or slow down the other players to give at least, nobody can overthrow the other put everybody on equal defenses therefore you can try to focus just try to destroy the ship from the inside and your last resort would have to be taking a squad inside to try and blow up the death star but that would not oh, not the death star the fucking um the starships uh the star destroyer or the rebellion ship now i just really hope that game mode is there if not i wouldn't mind if we have multi-ship battles like objective modes in space where okay say to get to the death star we have to get through a fleet, get through a set of obstacles, then get our chance to reenact the movie. Because it hinted at that in the trailer where you're going through the trench run and it looks like you can blow the fucker up. Because I hope you can do that. I really hope they enable that. And as for inside the Death Star, um, inside the Death Star should have large maps. I heard it's a slight rumor, but I mean, it's, it'll be weird. But I think the Death Star has enough room to support that. I don't know. That was a big ass fucking de a big ass fucking space station. Um, rumors that Walker Assault could be in the Death Star. I don't know how, but shit. And a little mention they they teased what the what the fourth DLC, the mystery DLC. It's gonna be Rogue One, and I'm cool with that. This is still stuff connected because they they officially said that Rogue One is part of the original trilogy, and it's some uh somebody who. The people who are working on Rogue One can kind of say, okay, you can think of A New Hope as split into two films. Rogue One first, A New Hope second. So Star Wars New Hope, really, uh, a Rogue One is the beginning of the fucking original trilogy, you can say. Or uh, part one to A New Hope, because that's how they're setting it up. So I wouldn't mind having, we're going to have all original trilogy maps, all origina original trilogy content, which I'm happy about because... A lot of people want an original trilogy, and if you put in the Clone Wars, you're going to have the original chi uh, chi uh, the original trilogy people hate you, and the Clone Wars people happy. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. You're going to have to fucking... You're going to have to crush someone's feelings here. And unfortunately, being that there's not a, clone, uh, not a lot of Clone Wars fans, I guess they don't get the dose. So, I mean, that's all I got to say about the Death Star DLC. And I don't know. I just can't wait. So I hope you guys watched my live stream for battlefront i'm gonna do another one soon so best fin dlc it's worth it can't wait for death star also can't wait for the final rogue one dlc and skirmish mode makes this replayability much higher and this is not a review i reviewed the game think it's great so if you don't got the game get it and i'm out